Let's get to meteorologist Mike Everett to talk a little bit more about that smoke and when it's gonna be out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the big question and I got the big answer coming up in a moment here. I just want to talk to you about the mechanics of it for just a moment because we were marveling at this last night. We've got some offshore flow that's really pushing a lot of that smoke. We've got Goat Rocks, we've got Minnow Ridge and we've got the Bolt Creek Fire, especially in this region right here. It's taking a lot of that smoke and driving it through Snoqualmie Pass and to a certain extent Stevens Pass as well. So that's why you're finding you're seeing a lot of that smoke concentrated over Seattle Metro today and portions of King County, parts of Snohomish County as well, but many spots, especially up towards the north and down towards the south, were gloriously smoke free today. Here's how it plays out. In fact, you can see some of those fires. This is Minnow Ridge here, and what we've got is that offshore flow that will continue to push that smoke over the mountains and into the metro, and even as far west as out towards the Olympics as well. Now, the good news is you're seeing a lot of blues here. That means that it's fairly dispersed, and again, not fairly dangerous for people. This is more annoying than anything else. Fast forward to 6.30 on Wednesday night, you notice that all of a sudden the pattern stops. You'll continue to see some onshore flow making its way, especially across the Strait of Juan de Fuca, but east of the Cascades, it kind of pools there, and then wait for it, wait for it. We start to get some onshore flow that will take that smoke, especially the bulk of the more dangerous smoke, and push it off towards the east, and again, dispersion that's going to just keep the haze in play for about another 24 hours, but then as we make our way towards Thursday night, we're going to start to see that disperse and push off towards the east. So as far as air quality goes, and as Greg was just telling you, yeah, it's okay. We've got some, uh, plenty of green dots. We'll see some of those yellow dots tomorrow, especially off towards eastern Washington near Wenatchee, now towards Chelan, but that's moderate air quality. That's no problem whatsoever. Weird thing that's happening, though, is the dryness. Offshore flow creates some very dry air humidity, 34%. To put that into context, this time last night it was around 60, so yeah, it's dry out there, and you're seeing that north-northeasterly wind is kind of a constant. It also did some very interesting things to the temperature this morning. Take a look at just the variation we experienced. 55 was the overnight low in Seattle. 39 in Shelton and Olympia. Folks were breaking out the flannels and the puffers. Up towards the north, we had 50 in Bellingham, but then we had 41 in Arlington. And out towards the coast, it was warm. But the daytime temperature was the big story. 80 in Forks, 82 in Hoquiam, and down towards South Sound, we got to 83 in Shelton, 80 in Olympia, and a pair of 81s up towards Bellingham and Mount Vernon. We've got that low pressure system that's going to continue to push moisture across the entire west coast, which is fantastic news. And the way it plays out for us is the last full day of summer is going to feel like summer. It'll be warm and hazy out there. Thursday will be somewhere in between. We'll see some more cloud cover, cool and possibly rainy on the first full day of fall. But the weekend looks like it's going to be spectacular.